Hi, I'm Data Juggler. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import text files using datatear.net, SQL Server, and my open source NuGet package, datajuggler.ultimatehelper. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes along the way, and this is not a polished video. Just warning you up front. Let's get started. Hi everybody. In today's video, I am going to be building a Windows Forms application for .NET 5, and I'm going to be using SQL Server Express as a backend. So you're going to need SQL Server Express and Visual Studio 2019 if you want to follow along with this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'll just show you what I've got here. I've got this database. And by the time you watch this, I'll have all the SQL scripts if you want to uh, just insert it. But until then, I'm going to create, I've got all these other tables and I've already imported the address, the member, the street name, and the zip code and state from a previous video. But we're going to go ahead and rebuild it all because it won't take that, it won't take any longer to build it all. And then I'm going to, I'm adding four new tables because I downloaded <clears throat> this little zip file that has adjectives, adverbs, nouns, and verbs. Because my plan is to build a uh, kind of a story writer. I don't know how good it's going to be, but it's still, I think it could be a good idea to just have us, a, a lot of times I get to where I want to build something or write something, but... I'm hoping that this will at least give me some story ideas and you can just keep clicking generate till you get one you like is kind of my plan. But each of these files comes with these text files and each of the text files you know come with this long list. So I'm going to just import this into SQL Server. So I'll put all these links uh, in the video description by the time I get it published but for now I've got to build it first. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be importing these uh, right here. So right now, first thing I'm doing is creating a table for adjectives, adverbs, nouns, and verbs because they're not in my database yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll go ahead and start over because I was already starting this one. But okay, just in case anybody wants to follow along. So I'm going to just create a new, oops, not new query, new table. This is going to be, first field is ID, it's an integer, it doesn't allow nulls, and identity specification is going to be yes, and that's the primary key. This is going to be word text, and it's going to be in bear care, and I'll make it 40, I don't know how big these are, but that should be fine. And that's all that's going to be in this table, so this is going to be our adverbs table. I'll just call it adverb singular. All right, and now we're going to do basically the exact same thing. Sorry for that noise. And then set primary key, identity specification, yes. And this is going to be word text. Oh, there's one more thing I want to do, and we'll do that as we do it, but I'm going to... I'm going to add uh, syllables in case you want to have some filter for how many syllables to use. And I'm going to make this an integer. And we're going to call this a uh, verb. And I'm going to refresh our little list here. I'm going to alter the table adverb and add that same thing. I'm going to add a column for syllables. And it's going to be not null. OK, just so we have that for all of our tables. And then next, this is going to be the same thing. 
set primary key. I wish this was like all the default values because I always do this. Okay, and then this is going to be word text again. I think that's how you spell syllables. Hope so. All right, and this is going to be, let me just look at our little list here. Okay, we'll go ahead and make this one adjectives. I'm just going to make sure I... That's for spelling adjectives, right? I think I can do it, but just in case. Okay. And now our last table is going to be noun. Ah, wrong place, sorry. That does that every time. This will be noun. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go create a new project using um, Visual Studio. So we're going to go over to our. I'm going to create a new project. Okay, I am going to go to Windows Forms app. This is going to be called, we'll just call it a word importer, something like that. We'll go with data, random data importer. And I'll put this in GitHub. I'm gonna, I've got a specific location I need to put this, hang on. I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay. Okay, so we've got our application created. The .NET Framework version of Windows Forms opened much faster. But, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and rename this form Main Form. It's another thing I tend to like. Okay, so we've got our form. I'm going to add a new folder. I'm going to just call it Data. I'm going to copy this file path. And now we're going to go to my program datatier.net. That's why this is a datatier.net video. We are going to create a new project. Project name is going to be uh, Word Importer. Project folder is going to be that folder on my clipboard right there. Ignore the UI folder. That's something new that I haven't finished yet. And then it is a .NET 5 project. And we are going to create a data tier in the project folder.
Okay. We got the dreaded, oops, something went wrong. Let me go to the project folder. Okay, did not work. I wonder why. Trying this again, if it didn't work. Okay, don't know why that took two tries, but I think it was that folder on the end. It didn't like that extra path there, so sorry about that. Hopefully that didn't happen to you. Now we're gonna add our database. So I'm gonna type in my server name. Refresh my list of databases. And I'm going to select random data. Hit save. Hit next. And now we don't even need to hit next there. This is just going to save our database schema. And now we're going to build our project. And store procedures.sql. And we're going to execute this. Okay, so that gets us everything we need. So now we are ready to begin our data import. So let me go over, we can close down this for now. We don't need it. Close this. So now we are ready to actually begin. Uh, this is a character I'm working on, sorry about that. We are ready to begin our import. So let me go from here. I'm gonna exclude this from the project and we have to do this so that the project builds correctly. So now we're going to add a solution folder by the same name. It's going to be called data. Add existing project. I am going to go to that folder, GitHub, random data generator, app, data. And it's going to be this, these four projects right here. Luckily after the first one, it browses to the right place. And these are just the four project references you need and I'll show you what we just built. Okay, so here's the object library and these are all the tables in the database. For each table you get a data class and a business class in case you've never done this before. Okay, so now we have everything built. We are ready to start our importing. And this UI is going to stay, stay not very fancy. Let me get a drink. I'm going to just change the name to main form. I'll just call this data importer. And next I am going to put a button on here. Let me get us a button. And I want to get a progress bar. Okay, that's all we're going to need, basically. Okay, my progress bar is not wanting to. There we go. I've got the form selected somehow. Okay, bring our form back in. And this button is just going to be called our import button. Let me do this to make our form. Um, auto scale mode needs to, oops, sorry for here. I did not want that. So let me find this reference. I hate it when I do this. Find all references. <sighs> Okay, get rid of that because I didn't want that even being there. Okay, so now that we're back to here, this is going to be our import button. Text, just be import. And we're going to do these one at a time. So this will be, 
I'm going to make this uh, import adverbs. We'll make it adverbs button. Change the text to import adverbs. And I'm going to make this font. That's why we changed our auto scale mode. That's what I was trying to do a minute ago when we messed up the form there. Now I can change the font of our form to something I can see because I'm not blind, but I don't see very good anymore. All right, Verdana in 14. Make all our buttons huge. Okay, and this is going to be We'll just call it uh, adverbs graph. And then we're going to do a little label here just so we can list what file we're on because there's four files for each, uh, each of the types of files or whatever. Or verbs, there's four, so there's four syllables and one syllable, two syllable, three syllables, etc. Okay, label. And I'm just putting a little label here. Let me turn auto size to false. So I can make our button bigger. Make this text align right. Make the text invisible. And then make the name will be adverbs status adverb status label okay and now we're going to copy these three we're going to make our form a little bigger give that a second to finish all right Just making three copies of this for me in total. Okay, so that's all we have to do as far as our uh, little list. Now I just need to name these right. So this is going to be the adjective graph. This is going to be the adjective. status label. Am I spelling that right? Let me go back to our list. Sorry, should have bookmarked this. Uh, oops, not that app. Oh, that's fine. Input's what I wanted to be. That's right. Okay, just making sure I had it spelled right. Okay, and then this is the import adjective button. I guess that's technically. What is that right there? Yeah. Okay, and then now, I realize this is very boring uh, television for you here if you're watching this at home. Next, this is going to be the noun graph be the noun status label and the import nouns button I'll change that text to import nouns got to do this one import adjectives And then, okay, we'll have to make all of our buttons a little bigger. And then last one. Okay, and this is going to be our import verb button.
verb status label. Verb graph. And just make sure that import now. Okay, so we've got all our names. Now we just need our events. So I'm going to go ahead and create our little click events. I'm going to do the adjectives, nouns, and adverbs. Okay. So we've got all this. I'm going to go ahead and use something, and I'll put the link to this in the video description. It's also on my GitHub repo. It's just a Visual Studio package you might want to use if you want to follow along called Regionizer. And it just takes your code, and it puts these events in the event region in alphabetical order. Some people hate regions. In fact, 99% of the people, but I like them. So. And this is the other reason, because it was auto commenter. I did that and it types that comment for me. That's one reason why I use it. But we've got our four button clicks. That was the main reason we're here. So now what we're going to do is add some NuGet packages so that we can use our project. The packages are here, but we need to add a couple of references. So we're going to add a project reference to the object library and the data gateway. Next, what we want to do, I'm going to go ahead and just compile just to make sure. I should have done it after I uh, created our project, but should compile. Okay, so everything's going you know, as planned, even though it's not too exciting to watch so far. Now what we're going to do is add some NuGet packages, or at least one that I know of. Oh, wait. Well, it's got this one. We need to add this one. We're going to update both of these and this class here. I want to install to the latest version, 1.55. I need to update my templates for datatier.net, but I don't update that too often. Okay, give that a second. Let me update here. I'll update this also. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just get our latest and greatest. Okay, so I've got everything installed that we need, I believe. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to need some paths for uh, each of these folders. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create some constants. And it's just going to give us some folder names that we're going to need const string and this is going to be in here I want to grab each of these uh, folders this is going to be I'll just get the whole path and if you happen to want this program it's in the Microsoft store for five dollars but I can't administer it but maybe one day I'll be able to now, the whole, that's a whole nother story. Okay. Oh. String. Um, adjective. File one. File path one equals. Okay. And if you're not aware, this right here is just so those paths don't give me a uh, warning there because that's an escape. Because the, the backslash is normally an escape symbol. Okay, so now I'm just going to make copies of this for four. Because this is... Let me go get our list. Okay, so I got one syllable. Okay, that's one syllable. So I need to change two, three, and four. Okay. And this is going to be four, three, two. Okay, so that gives us the first four. Now we got to do roughly the same, <coughs> excuse me, the same thing for the, yeah, for adverbs. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'll just, I'm actually gonna, well, let me take the first one and I'll replace what is on my clipboard with this right here. Okay. Oh. There. Okay. And that is going to be adverb. This is going to be four, three, two, one. Oops, that's the word path right there. Four, three, two, one. All right, so now we've got adverbs done. Now we're moving on to uh, nouns, <coughs> which is going to be get that over here All right. one syllable now okay now, last one is verbs, and I probably could just do all this with copy and paste if I tried hard enough, but verb file path one equals, all right, and let me get our verb stuff. At least the first one. The rest I'll do with copy and paste faster. Okay, so now we have our constants. That's just gonna, that saves us having to put little file browsers on our uh, stuff. So now what we're gonna build, we added a reference here to datajuggler.ultimatehelper. This is, um, and then datajuggler.ultimatehelper.objects. This is gonna help us parse in our text files. I think you'll find this pretty useful if you've ever worked with text files. All right, so now what we're ready to do is actually begin our importing. So the first thing we need to do is create a connection string for to our database. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is a program that you will probably like if you use a SQL Server a lot. I have this program called datatier.net and in there that's what we're using here. And then the tools folder, there's a program called Connection String Builder. I'm just running the executable version here. And I'm going to type in our database. I'm going to type in our database name, which is random data, I think. Yeah, random data. And then we're just going to say uh, Windows authentication, build connection string, test and copy. So that's on our clipboard. So now I can come over here and I'm gonna go to system environment variable, <clears throat> edit system environment variables. I'm gonna add a new environment variable. I don't think I have one already for this. I don't, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one here called random data and the value I'm going to paste there it's the connection string just hit OK so now we're done with this we've got our connection string so all we need to do now let me close this project it's another project I'm working on oops wrong one I wanted to close yeah this one's I want to keep open okay now what we need to do is in the application logic component dot connection there's a connection in the private variables and constant 
change this to the name of the environment variable you just created and mine is called random data okay so hopefully you see that so all we have to do now when we create our gateway I'll show you here in a second okay so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna start importing our list of adjectives so first we're gonna say syllables syllables equals one because we're starting with one syllable adjectives all right now what we want to do is say list text line which is part of that data juggler dot ultimate helper dot objects that we added we're gonna say uh, that's fine text lines equals word parser dot get words got get text lines and we're gonna have to get the source text to get the source text we're gonna go string file text equal file dot we need a reference to system.io. Okay, so now we're gonna say file text equals file dot read all text, and this is gonna be adjective file path one. Okay, so now we're gonna get the text lines. For file text, and then just to be safe, we're going to say if text helper dot exist file text just to be extra safe. There should we'll get our text lines. And this is just an auto comment that says if that string exists. That was control shift if you're following along with Regionizer. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure we have more than one, uh, at least. Uh, okay, so that. That just makes sure that was another auto comment with control shift. But this is here, we're just making sure we have one or more text lines, which we should if everything is going well. Now we're going to set up our graph. Uh, that's going to be the adjective graph dot min dot maximum equals text lines dot count. And then next what we want to do is we'll just set the adjective graph dot minimum equals zero. It already is, but just to make sure. Dot value equals zero. And now we're going to start or set up our uh, status label. Adjective status label dot text equals begin importing adjectives okay now we're going um, to actually we'll just say file or one syllable one syllable okay set up the graph and status now so so far nothing too hard now what we're going to do is I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that everybody, I just needed a short break. <coughs> okay, we're going to add a few using statements here. Using object library dot business objects. Using data gateway. Lay down Rex, my dog just came into the room and he's not happy probably. Okay, and this is just going to be a comment that says this is the main form for this application. 
Okay, so we have everything we need here. We're ready to start importing our adjectives. So first we're going to say uh, I need a data gateway. Gateway equals new. That's not good. Oh, data gateway dot gateway equals new. That just needs to be gateway. Okay, and then the connection string is going to be connection. We need to just. I'm going to also add a reference to application logic. I need to add a dependency here. Sorry. Add project reference, and we're going to add a reference to the. Uh, oh, I had done the wrong one a minute ago. I needed that one. Why am I not seeing all of the projects? Hang on. Here, I'm in the wrong place. Sorry. Dependency. Okay, so I need to go back to that. I just undid that like an idiot. Sorry, I was. That's right, okay. I thought I had messed it up, but I didn't. All right, so now this is gonna be using application logic component. And that's all I need is right there. And I can just say, build and that'll not build because I have something open down here okay and this is just going to be connection dot connection dot name no, that's not right. It's just connection name. Hang on. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, sorry, I haven't done this in a while. So even I forget some of this stuff. It's been a while. So it's just application logic component dot connection dot connection dot name. Okay, that took a longer than that should have taken. Sorry about that, I haven't done this in a long time. So now we have our gateway. We're, that's our connection to SQL Server. We can now do everything we need to do. So now we're going to create a, uh, a new, uh, since we're in there, we're going to do a, li a loop for our text line. So we're going to say for each text line, line in text lines, and here I'm doing an auto comment of control shift. So if you want me to make a new video about regionizer, let me know, but I think it's pretty useful just for typing comments, if nothing else. And then now we're just going to create a new adjective for each text line. So we're just going to say adjective equals new adjective that was control shift types in that comment adjective dot word text equals line dot text and then now set the syllables adjective dot syllables equals uh, syllables which is our variable right there okay and now we're going to save it. So what we're going to do is just say bool saved equals gateway dot save adjective. We're going to pass in our adjective. This is why I still think this is easier than Lambda expressions. 
especially if you're trying to explain it to a new developer. I've done both and I think that's easier. All right, next we're gonna say if saved, we're gonna say adjective graph dot value plus plus. And that's just gonna say increment the value or that's fine. And that comment there is just gonna type that for me also. Okay, so now that will do file one. Okay, so now we're gonna reset up everything from here, except for we have to get file text. We need everything from here. And we're gonna even change this a little bit. Okay, so that was the first part of that. except for this is going to change to just syllables equal to and we'll just change this to two syllable adjectives this doesn't need a string and this is going to be file text 2 this is where it gets easier everything after this is exactly the same so begin importing adjectives two syllables okay I guess our little status label we'll just leave it we don't need to put a I guess we could do that where's our it'll just be only visible for a second but we'll put a little thing here that says finished importing adjectives one syllable okay And I didn't copy that, so I'm going to come down here and put that there. Okay, so that was two. So it's a lot easier after you get the first one done, and you'll find the rest of these are going to be like that. And I probably should put all these in methods. I'm being very lazy, but we're going to go ahead and just... Uh, go with this because just to get this done all right so now we're going to go to three syllable adjectives and from here it's even easier change our comment this is file path three and then from there everything is the same except for this three syllables and our syllables has already been uploaded. Okay, so that is now. Uh, we need to do our graph. Oh, that's all. That's right. Okay, so the graph has been right each time. Okay, so that was our first. That was three. Now we're going to go on to four. And let me change this to four. And then that's four. All right, and then everything else is the same. So that's finished importing four syllables, and that means I didn't do this one to three syllables. Okay, so that's only going to be visible for a second. There's two syllables and one. Okay, so that is adjectives so I'm gonna now that we have this done this is where I am gonna put us into a method because it'll bug me if I don't so I'm gonna take all this and then we're gonna see if it works that's next okay I'm gonna cut all this and I'm gonna go over here to regionizer which is why I use it add method I'm gonna call this import adjectives and it's going to be a return type of void so I'm going to just change that to event and then right back to method and that switches that and I'm going to say okay the methods region was not found so we're going to create it okay add method okay so this method imports adjectives 
it's pretty that auto that text I wrote there is not perfect but that's pretty close and I'm pasting in what I just have on my clipboard now the reason why that is helpful is now going from adjectives to the others is a matter of Okay, and this is going to be, and I realize it doesn't really matter, I mean, if these are in a method or not, but this is going to be import, I'm going to leave that like that. i got to change everywhere that says adjective to adverb. And I've got case sensitive on and selection, notice that, and then I want to replace all. Okay, and then now we're going to do a lowercase version of that. And that did 26 in the selection. Okay, so that gave us both, um, gave that, uh, so now, and that is even, that, that text is correct for adverb file, adverb graph. Okay, we're going to go. Let me, uh, what do I, do I have a progress bar one? No. Adverbs graph, okay. So that's what that was supposed to be. And that means up here needs to be adverbs, adverbs, adverbs. Okay. And that's our adverbs, so that was, pretty oh we've got to do this in a bunch of places all right sorry about this all right and almost done it's still easier with copy and replace to get all this done Alright, let me make sure this compiles after all that while I get a drink. Okay, so that worked. Now we're going to go from adverbs to uh, nouns. Let me. So it's, again, case sensitive and only the selection. And we're, this time we're going to go from adverb to noun. And this is the lowercase version. That got us 28. I think that is, yeah. And then adverb to noun. Oops, I messed something up there. And that got us 51. So that was sure a bunch. Okay, I didn't look at that number last time. All right, let's see what we messed up here. And this time it's noun graph, so I should have known as soon as I copied this one. I'd have been better off copying the other one next time I will. Okay, uh, noun graph. And I could just rename it, but we're almost done. Okay, and okay, let's see if that compiles. All right, so now we have one more to do, and it's for verbs. And let me get our events. I'm going to copy this one again. Hopefully, it goes better this time. All right. We're going to go with adjective and verb, case sensitive and selection, 51. And now the lowercase version, 28. All right, so let's see if this compiles. Looks like it will.
Okay, so there, let's see how we're doing on time. Okay, so in 49 minutes, we got everything set up. Now we're ready to run our first test run. So let me close everything. And now before we run it, this is the part that I just don't like forms to look like. What is that giving me a, it's giving me a warning. Hang on. I don't know why. I don't really need it. I can change that. To, I, I can just add the, uh, where I create the gateway. Okay, and we'll just change this to let me make that a constant just to be a little easier. Connection name equals And now we're going to go down here and change this to connection name. Replace all. Okay, 15. That was a lot. All right, so am I creating the gateway 15 times? Oh, we don't need to do that. We only need the gateway once. So that was glad we did that. We found this out. I need to find everywhere we say gateway equals new gateway. Because the gateway can be reused for all of it. Oh wait, that was the very first one. That one we need, but all the ones that say... Uh, let's see, yeah these, all the ones that say gateway, gateway. I need to find. Because we don't need to do that. You can just keep using the same one. That's one of the downsides of copy and paste. It's great, but you'll copy things you don't mean to copy. And I actually find a lot of commenting errors through copy and pasting because I find the ones that I don't even need that. I'm just hitting F3 now to go to the next ones. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay, that's four. I think I'm taking out too many because I need the first one for each one of these. What syllable is it? Oh, each one, I need the first one. Yeah, okay. So the first one, each one, I gotta make sure I keep, and then the rest of them in this method, I don't need. So there should be a total of four. First one we need. I mean, it wouldn't wait. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. I need to put these up at the top, each one of these. Okay. Sorry to mess this up like this but we'll do this and then when I try to recreate it it'll not like it so I'll, I'll get an error every place now which is good I want to know where the errors show up I'm going to delete them Put this one up here. Okay, so this isn't one of those perfect uh, coding things, but now I'm just going to get all my errors and go fix them, and those are the ones I need to go take out. All right, error list. So we don't need this. 
we don't need this. We don't need this. So we're almost ready to run this. I'm sorry this was taking so long, but this was just kind of how things go sometimes. Still not too bad for one hour to import four tables worth of stuff. Okay, so now we're actually ready to run, but I want to do one thing before we do. Let me bring up our designer. That, that does not look like the designer. I'm going to make this form just look a little better because it's uh, kind of bugging me. So I'm going to just make the background image. I'm going to import it. I'm going to go to my textures folder. And I'm just going to use this. Uh, we'll use that right there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll see what that looks like. I don't really like that. I've got another one. Hang on. Sorry. Shouldn't have done that. I always thought this would be one second thing and then I'd make something take longer than it should. I'll just use uh, here. I've got this black image in my... Let me go to my graphs folder. Graphics. And there. I don't know. I'll just use that. That's fine. Okay. Just gives us a black background. Now I need to change my labels. Uh... These all need a back color of transparent. And now they need a four color of lemon chiffon. Okay. So now when it shows us our status label, it will do that. Now we're going to do a couple of things to make our form show up right before we run it. So we want our startup position to be center screen. We want our window state to be normal, that's fine. And then we want double buffering to be true. And then there's one other thing I need to get from one of my other projects. Let me open up my DB compare project because it's got something I need to get. Uh, It's just this little thing that makes it not flicker. I'll show you. It's really pretty useful for. It's called params. Okay, this one doesn't have it, so it's in. Let me find a project that has it. We'll go to datatier.net. Thought for sure that one had it. Let me go to datatier.net project. I know it does. Uh, this is just something that makes, a, if you have a form, it makes it a lot better at flickering. I haven't really looked at what's how much is needed in .NET 5 or if there's any changes, but this was always needed for .NET Framework. So, okay, where's our main form? I'm in the control, sorry. Uh, form. And this one doesn't have it. Okay, I'm gonna in one other place, and I'm gonna give up. But I'm pretty sure I've got this somewhere. I'm not, I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Let me go to this one. I'm pretty sure it has it. If not, I'm really surprised that I'm not finding this. All right.
here. We are going to search my GitHub. I'm going to search C sharp files for a property that says param. And this will take a long time, but this is bothering me. I can't find this because I know. Um, yes, keep going. Should start seeing. I'm going to look while that's going because I'm really mad I'm not seeing this. Oh, here it is. Create params. I'm sorry. I knew I had it. Let me stop this. Sorry. We don't need that. We'll just say close the program and I don't need to restart it. Okay. So here it is. This create param. Sorry. I hadn't done it in so long. Let me close that. So here I'm going to add this property. Let me add a properties region. And what this does, this just somehow makes Windows like finish what it's doing before it tries to redraw. So it doesn't like try to repaint over and over. It's just something useful. Okay, and I'll put this code on GitHub when we're, but we're finally ready to actually uh, run our code, except for that needs to be import verbs. All right, and now, I don't know. I'm thinking it's about 50-50 if this is going to work as it is, since we haven't uh, tested this yet. But we are going to see what happens. We'll just run it. Worst you can do is uh, have to re-script the table and start over if it doesn't work. All right, let's see. Get a drink time. Drum, drum roll, please. Okay, it took us an hour and two minutes to get to here. So let's see what happens. Importing adverbs. Okay, I'm getting a bad feeling on that. Oh, I know what it is. We got to go call our methods. <laughs> got a little ahead of ourselves. Okay, so let's go back to our form. Okay take that 50 50 down quite a bit sometimes I I write code and I realize that why didn't it work oh you got to call it okay so let's go to each of our click events ah nothing in here import adverbs okay oops this is going to be if I could spell there adjectives okay and now come on visual studio import nouns And then finally, import the verbs and fix our little Okay, so now this should work. So let's see what happens. Ta -da. All right, we'll minimize Visual Studio, and now we'll go with import adverbs. Now, there's one more thing I'm going to do, and you're, this is just because I'm stupid, but I don't like, uh, this is something I think every form should have that Microsoft doesn't do, but 
when you put your mouse over a button, it should turn into a uh, a hand. And I'll, we're just going to do the mouse enter. And I'm going to write this little method. It's called button underscore enter. We're going to create that. And I'm going to do another one over here that says mouse leave. I'm going to call it button underscore leave. And here I'm going to just say cursor equals cursors dot hand. And that's a mouse, that auto comment there is typed. And I'm going to say cursor equals cursors dot default. And again, that's an auto comment. Okay, and now we want to put these in the events region. So I'm going to format selection and do this one the same way. By, by, by starting here, it keeps the formatting the way I want it. Okay, so now we have our button events. I've got to do the other three buttons. So let me save that. So this one is going to be mouse. I can actually do all three of these at once, I think. And it's going to be mouse enter is going to be button enter. And mouse leave will be button leave. Okay, that's just something I like. I didn't have to do that, but it made uh, everything. It's just, I like it. All right. And now, drum roll, please. Hour and five minutes, so I went a little over, but sorry about that. We'll see if it even works now. So let's import adverbs. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. So far, so good. Now nouns. Kind of impressed that if this is all working. Uh, seems to be going really fast, but it's only one. It's only inserting two fields in a store procedure. So, and I've got a pretty fast computer. But okay, so that was our nouns, and then finally our verbs. So, at least it worked after all this. Sorry, I was gonna be mad. I was starting to halfway through. I was recording this thinking. Nobody's ever going to watch this, which is still probably true, but at least what I just wrote worked. So that's kind of why I use datatier.net and my datajuggler.ultimatehelper class makes importing text files like super easy. Now, you may say, well, how do we know that data is in there? So you might be a skeptic. Ah, okay. Well, we're going to go find out. So we're going to run a query. Select star from adjective. I need to hit Control Shift R to refresh my little list here because uh, okay, so we have our list. How many did we import? Oh, wait. So eighteen thousand. That's pretty quick. That last one shouldn't be there. So I'll just do a uh, exec. Uh, adjective underscore delete and I want to pass in the ID of 18105 okay so I got rid of that one okay and just to show you the others probably have the same problem I probably don't stop on the last line select star from adverb I'll go to the very bottom yep I'm consistently so I didn't it's not perfect. I'll fix that. We just need to do a uh, take. We'll go back and fix it real quick before I close the video out. But let me delete this one. Is that really the exact same number? Hang on. Okay, that's what, that was the same number of the last one. That just sounds very surprising to me. Those are the exact same. Okay, interesting. They are the exact same. So I'll need to exec adverb underscore delete 18105. Delete that record. And just to, I'll do the same thing for
Okay, so that's a big difference. It was just weird though that adjective and adverb have the exact same number, and that just I didn't take the list to see if they're the same. Maybe I made a mistake. Let me look at the list. Hang on, that just seems too likely. But they're different lists. I bet you I made a mistake. Uh, select top ten. I bet you that's the same somehow. No. Oh, eight. It is. So I, I made a mistake in our. <sighs> Shit. All right. So let me delete. Let me see which one is right. Hang on. Let me go to our list. All right. Sounded too good to be true to have everything be working. And GitHub random data. There. Input. Out. Okay, so that is adverbs. Wait. I think they, I think our data is messed up. Ace aft ain all. Eh, they're not the same. Okay, so I've got, I think I imported. Hang on. Okay. Let me go over to our importer and look. But it's obvious in there. This is supposed to be adverbs. Okay, we're going to re. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Adverbs. And I'm going to have to restop. It doesn't like me doing this while we're running. And let me just make sure. Yep. Okay, so that was supposed to be adverb. So now I'm going to drop and create the adverb table. So let me... Okay, so now we're going to rerun our program and import the adverbs. Uh oh. Adverb file path one. <sighs> okay, now let me stop this. Now this is four, three, two, and this is two, three, four. All right, one more time. Okay, that's pretty fast for, let's see how many we got now. I didn't fix our bug, I should have did it, but I'll fix that, about the last one being missing. Select star from adverb. Aft all. And then I'll select star from adjective. And it starts with ace. Okay, so now they're right. So sorry about that, I had messed up the first time. But that's my short video, and I am going to put this code on GitHub. Sorry, it's just my, I like that character. I created him today. 
Okay, so that's my short video. Sorry this was not a very uh, exciting video, but I just wanted to put a, uh, let me end the video with, well, I'll just have this showing there. Ta-da. Okay, but now that I have my data list, I'm going to build a website. I'm going to play around first just to see what I kind of, what kind of stories I can write, but I basically just want to have Joe so-and-so did something and add some adjectives and adverbs to make it a little bit. I don't expect it to be grammatically correct. I just want it to be like a story idea generator, but just kind of, you know, and then and maybe like give people the way to rate uh, combinations of word, like rate a you might want to replace out individual words in a story. So kind of give certain words like a rating. Like an, I haven't done that. I didn't have that field for the database. I may add it next time. But that's the nice thing about now that we have everything built, regenerating, adding a field takes just a second. But that was still, I think that's a really quick way to import uh, text data into SQL Server. Thanks for watching.